Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Dolphins playbook. I'm doing the Dolphins again. Uh, uh, one of my Patreon subscribers that just joined requested them, and if you guys don't know, you can request topics. Well, you can basically pick topics of what I do uh, if you're a certain tier on my Patreon. Uh, account so if you guys have never checked that out all that information is in the description below uh, be sure that you do go over there take a look um, I offer a lot of different services I sell mutt coins I, uh, I offer coaching all kinds of stuff I already put out a really good series of plays out of the gun bunch tight end one of the glitchier uh, long bomb touchdown plays so I'll put that in the description as well and I'll pop a link for that as well make sure you check that out if you're thinking about using the Dolphins playbook that's probably the best series of plays in here uh, other than that I have some really good plays here I'm gonna pick the first one the first one I have is the PA read We'll go ahead and we'll pick that, and then we'll go uh, we'll go random nickel to match. All right, so this play set's real simple. This is actually not a bad way to run it. Um, I think there's some adjustments to make the play a little bit better, but it's pretty good to run just like this. I mean, you really have your triangle playing off of your X route. You see how the triangle route pulls coverage back a little bit, gets the X route open. That's really going to be um, one of the main reads is those two guys. I'm not going to adjust them with the adjustment that I make. As you can see, here's the tight end getting across the middle against the man. It's a really good play. Yeah, the, what I, the, when I do like to make uh, any adjustments or motions, I actually like the motion over Parker. I feel like he's a little bit unnecessary. Um, at times, like I said, he pulls the coverage back to get stills open at times. But I feel like motioning, motioning him over, putting him on a fade route is probably one of the better ways to go. Uh, canceling this play action is kind of key. I mean, you can get in trouble... Uh, if you don't cancel that play action there, as you see, we have a uh, really easy man coverage. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to beat him deep. But you can cancel the play action before the play or during the play. But yeah, unless it's a, a hard flat, nothing's really going to get in stills his way anyway. Um, so you still have uh, Thomas coming across the middle there to open things up for him. So he's just a really good check down. As you see there, the guy has to hesitate every time to drop back to the tight end. He's going to be open pretty much every time. So that's really up to you, uh, whether you want to run it as is or whether you want to motion over Parker. Uh, Parker, like I said, you can fade him or you can put him on a streak. Um, either way, just make sure you cancel this play action because that can get you into a lot of trouble. As you can see there, I'm floating up for another big play. Didn't get to stay in bounds though. Uh, not, you know, got a little bit of pressure there. But um, you know, that's just a really, a really simple play against man, especially. Most, most of these routes are going to be really good against an all-out man blitz like that was. Uh, I'm looking at uh, triangle route though. I want to get that open up the middle of cover twos and cover threes. He's really going to be good. As you see there, that was a cover three. He comes up right over the middle. Yeah, whether it's a cover two or a cover three, uh, Landry's going to be pretty good. But then Parker motioning over on a fade is going to pull away anyway. Any cover three scenario, he's going to kind of get in the way. So here we're going to go ahead. We got a man cover two. I was in the run a little bit, but I got it there. That's right there. You see we got that nice cover two. You could also, um, you know, I threw that a little bit early. I had that guy open pretty much on a streak before he broke that. Uh, like I said, against a cover three, he's going to be open pretty quick. But you typically would have to, um, like that was a cover two man. You typically have to cancel that play action pretty quick, though. If you're going to do this, um, if you're going to do this Parker route, you really want to uh, cancel that play action probably pre-snap. If you see cover three, put put a jolly on a pass block right away, and uh, the square route is just right right there. Uh, I thought he was going to be open outside. But yeah, if you pre-diagnose cover three, like this looks like a cover three right here, uh, putting Landry on just a straight up streak is probably the best way to go. And then keeping um, keeping uh, the circle route on a fade, and you'll see, I mean, I want to cancel that play action right away, but you can see how he's just right open up there, right up that streak. That guy pulls the cornerback out a little bit, and uh, you're good to go. So, like I said, if it's cover three, you actually want to put Landry, keep Parker on a fade, but put Landry on a streak, and he'll be better. Cover two, he's better like this, but, uh, but any other scenario... Um, is really going to be the way to go. Like, that's a cover two. I don't know if that was a man or what, but that's a cover two right up the middle. So that's a real simple formation adjustment. Cover two like this, you know, keep him on this type of route. Cover three, uh, have him, you know, switch him up to that streak. So you do the motion the same every time, um, but him on, you know, Parker on a fade, and if it's a cover two, keep him how he is. Par or I'm talking about Landry now. Keep Landry how he is, and if it's a cover three, uh, put him on that streak. Real simple uh, play way to do it. We'll go ahead and move on to the next play. 
Like I said, that plays really good to run it just like that. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll keep with the motion uh, to try to keep uh, keep these plays in order. Uh, so the next play I'm going to show is the bench. Now this play here, I'm actually going to motion a different guy. I'm going to motion stills over. Uh, you'll see you see a lot of motion in all my plays, but you're going to see more in this in this particular series. So this right here is a really good way to go. Um, I've had some mixed results with putting Landry on a streak again, uh, but I actually like to put him on a slant or just keep him on the out route. Um, and he works. If you have him on the out route, he's working against Thomas. If you have him on the slant, he's working against the X route. Um, and either way, it's going to be helpful to get somebody open. Your, what Parker's route is doing, uh, I don't think that's really worth anything. I'm either going to put him on a slant, uh, put him on a, a drag is a decent option. Uh, he's basically your check down either way. On a slant, he'll pull coverage a little bit for the X route. On the drag, um, he's just a safer uh, check down. He's going to come open underneath everything. Uh, and those are really your two options. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run this play real quick. Um, I had that triangle route all the way. I was watching it, and you know what? Didn't come up with the catch. It's all good, though. Didn't catch the ball because these dolphins are a bunch of punks. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's keep running it. Um, the running back. I'm just happy that he's in a check and release. I don't have to worry about um, him getting me in any trouble as far as uh, you know pass blocking or anything like that. So he'll, he's a check and release. He'll stay in if he has to. But you can put him on a pass block because these these routes are deep routes. Take a little bit of time uh, to get open. So it's always your option to do that. Uh, we'll keep doing this slant though. I think that that's important. Man, that's just a straight up house blitz. Everybody was coming. <laughs> Everybody was coming there. Man, these guys feel slow. The Dolphins are just feeling like bombs right now. I don't know if Parker on a check down option is really important considering Landry's a pretty good check down option. Uh, anyway, uh, you can also put the, the running back here. If you're not going to put him on a pass block, I think this is really good because um, a lot of times coverage will get pulled. Um, and then he'll have a, a, you know, a nice open underneath check down on the other side. I just see he's making a couple guys miss. I'm not a huge fan of the swing route. I mean, a lot of people, you can do that too. I don't really think that that's the best way to go. I actually like the, uh, just a regular out route out of the backfield, I feel is really effective. Um, but uh, a lot of people, if you want to go swing or whatever, that's up to you. This particular type of out route is good. There's another variation, which depending on where your running back's lined up, where the running back will kind of come out funny. I don't know how else to describe it, but um, I really think that that's a better uh, version than, uh, you know, that one's available here. You don't get the pick, it just comes up what comes up. So if it's, you know, just like the last play, if it's a cover two, leave stills like this. If it's a cover three, like this appears to be a cover three, I'm going to put him on a streak. And that's going to be, um, he'll just be open right up the center there uh, pretty, pretty quickly um, as I get it right over the uh, coverage. I think the safety might have been dropping in there because right over shoulder. I did a similar setup out of this, out of the uh, Saints playbook. And uh, they have much faster scope as players. So they were getting huge plays uh, where this year, I mean, this tight end doing a good job. But um, he's just not taking off. Like, I have Kobe, Kobe Fleener on the Saints was just getting touchdowns every time. But if you have a speedy guy, that route's going to be really good against man coverages outside. Um, and then, like I said, Stills is really your cover two and your cover three beater. And uh, then you have your option for Parker and Landry at your checkdowns uh, with the running back. Really also an option with the running back. So we'll move on. So since we're showing a lot of motion and creating a bunch concept, it'd probably be a good idea to end this first video on a run play. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll pick the quick base. You can put uh, your tight ends here um, where this guy is. I'm not sure if you can do that for every player, but it's an option if you really want to get cheesy. Um, yeah, you can put tight ends here too or running backs if you have good blocking running backs. Um, you can do that uh, to help out with this run play. So we'll just do that with one guy just to show the advantage. And then we'll pick uh, the halfback quick base. So it's really your option. You can motion over one of these guys again. doesn't matter which one. I would say Parker's probably better, but for whatever reason, I chose the other guy. Um, probably whoever your better blocking receiver is. And uh, you can see how they just create a wall of blockers. I'm going to get outside on this one. But it's not always about taking it outside. Sometimes the gap's up the middle. We'll go ahead and we'll show that next. So we'll go ahead and rise a couple different times. Uh, motion and Parker over. They keep giving me man looks. Hopefully this one's not. So we'll go ahead and we'll get a nice, nice soft zone look. Take that defensive end outside and uh, nice nice run about 15 there the big play is definitely going to be outside but if it's not there don't get strung out trying to get to the outside you know what i mean you don't want to be taking losses on this play but there's definitely there's definitely more real estate uh outside but you just have to pay attention to see which one is your whole oh man that's i'm gonna call that touch whatever not sure if it was or not but like i said you have to be aware of taking the inside uh, the inside track. And here it looks like we're gonna try to get outside again. Uh, we're gonna make one guy miss and we do and there's another guy following, but it's still a big play. It's all good. 
Yeah, if you don't want to give away um, that it's a run play, because when I snap it before it clears the left tackle, that's a pretty good giveaway that it's going to be a uh, run play. So that's really up to you. So we'll try to run this once or twice more, and then we'll end it, and I'll uh, do my little outro. Uh, this is definitely a zone, so hopefully we get a little bit of a better blocking. It just sets up a wall of blockers. And I'm trying to cut back inside behind my blockers, and then I get caught in the forest. But you know what? We're going to go ahead, and we're going to move on. So that's it for part one. If you want to see part two, uh, it's on my Patreon now. Or if you want to see more dolphins, uh, hit the like button. And I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out.